In part four, we're going to take a look at the slide header portion of the slide, and then two types of animation, the color typewriter and appear. Let's begin by inserting a new slide, and we do that by going to the Home tab, clicking, and in the slide grouping, clicking on New Slide. That will open up a dialog box of all the different kinds of pre-designed templates. Please choose Blank Slide. The first thing we're going to do is to establish our slide header area. The slide area is an element that appears on each content slide. It goes in the top sixth of each inside or content slide, and it consists of the title of that particular slide and then any logo or graphic or other identifying information that will be repeated in each content slide. As we saw, our slide header is going to consist of a horizontal gray line, just like the one that appeared on the title slide, except this one is going to be at the top sixth of each slide, which is where the slide header should always appear. Next, we're going to take a part of this flash paper logo and reduce it to a repetitive element for our slide header. And we do that by importing the photo and then reducing it in size so that it fits as a nice little bug or graphic header in our header area at the top of the slide. As you can tell, I'm using the Photo Crop tool to bring out exactly the elements that I want to use as my logo. And once those elements have been selected, all I need to do is to reduce it to the size that will allow it to fit up in the area reserved for the slide header in this presentation. Since this logo is a photo, I can use my photo formatting tools to take away or to add different kinds of drop shadows or other kinds of effects such as beveling. But since this is a logo that's going to appear on each slide of this presentation, it's probably best just to leave it flat so that it blends in nicely and unobtrusively. Now let's add our slide title by clicking on Insert and drawing a text box in which we're going to type the title of the slide using our default presentation font, which is Myriad Pro. Then we're going to pump it up to the largest size that we can get up there, which is about, looks like 36. And since our logo is on the far left, we're going to position our title on the far right. And this will be the look for the header on each of our following content slides. Now the next element that we want to reproduce is the entrance of the text on this slide. Flash Paper allows you to share any printable document. And we're going to bring that text in using the typewriter entrance. So first we draw our text box and we type in all of the text. Once all of that text is keyed in, sized, and positioned in the way that we want it, we are ready to apply our animation. We do that by first selecting the text and the text box, going to Add Effect, Entrance, and then number two, Color Typewriter. As it plays back, you see that it is indeed a color typewriter with red and blue. We don't want that. We want a true plain typewriter. So let's access our effect options and change those colors, red and blue, to both white. There are times when having one color, especially on a repetition of the entrance, can have a nice effect. But right now we're playing it safe and we're going to have a simple plain typewriter. We'll keep our defaults and on our timing we will keep our defaults as well so that it looks like and plays like a regular typewriter as you can see. Another thing that happened on this slide was the entrance of the word 
printable as if it were a handwritten correction to this quotation. So we will draw our text box, then enter that word, and select a script font to make it look handwritten. And then we will add the insert mark, or sometimes called the caret or the circumflex mark, editors use to insert words into documents. We're clicking on the symbol icon because the caret or circumflex is a part of the symbol set of our font. Each typeface or font comes with a set of letters, numbers, and symbols. So we need to go to our font, Lucida, and choose the symbol set for our font. And there we will find the Lucida caret or circumflex which is the one that we want to insert. Now we format our caret and our word printable in red to look like they were handwritten by an editor. And then we will be ready to add animations to both of them. We follow our usual procedures by first selecting the object, going to Add Effect, Entrance, and here Color Typewriter. Now, we want the color typewriter not to be color, so we select Effect Options and change the two colors to white so that it is not obnoxious. After that, we select the next object to be animated, the caret. Again, we go to Add Effect. This time, let's make it appear. So we select Appear. However, we want this to appear at the same time as printable types in. So we select Start with Previous. Okay, let's play the slide and see how we're doing. There's the first bit of text. And then on click, I'm able to edit it. Exactly. Looks good. 